Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Spare Parts, and today I wanted to show you something that I've been working on for probably the last three days, and it is my Assault on Hoth mock. So I was just sitting in my Lego collection a day ago, and I was thinking, hmm, what should I make? Because I wanted to make something, and I realized I had a lot of white bricks, so I thought, oh, I could just make Hoth. So I decided to make Hoth, and that is what I will be showing you today. I have to bring it down from up there now. Oh man, I hope it doesn't break. Here is the mock I created. Man, I had to back up a bunch to fit it all in frame. But anyway, I will look at each of the three sections of the build, and I'll start with that one right there. So here is the first section in closer view, and as you can see, it is the Echo Base, or Hoth Rebel Base. And first thing I wanted to point out is if you look at it from above like this, it looks really bad. And that is because I was concerned I was going to run out of white bricks with the ones I had to use over here. But I didn't, and I still don't have enough pieces for that. So I just had to make a little ridge right here so you can't see it. Because from where it's going to be displayed on top of my bookshelf, you won't be able to see the top. So you'll just see this. So I did not need to fill that in. Also on the top, there is the Rebel Shield Generator, and that is something I had to put up there because I didn't have any room on the ground here. I also have R2-D2 and C-3PO just hanging out up there, just as an Easter egg. I also have a Rebel Watchtower with a Rebel General watching out for the oncoming Stormtroopers or Snow Troopers. And I also have a turret up here, like the ones we see in the movie, and it can swivel and aim at the Adat Walker. Also down here, I have the Hoth blast doors that can open and they can shut. You can also open them from over here. And they have the nice ridges like they are seen in the movie. Now it's time for the second section. So in this second section, I put a big trench for the rebel troopers to shoot at the snow troopers from. And I also put a bunch of turrets here too. So as you can see, there's one of the turrets, like the ones that was on the top, can swivel too, and it still has blast fire coming out of it. And I also have this turret. I don't know what this one is called, but it's in the movie as well. And I have Admiral Akbar manning it because I did not know where to put him. I thought he would work on the turret. And I also have a snow speeder here taking off. And I have it suspended with just some door frame pieces, which I think they kind of are invisible in this set because everything's snow colored and those kind of fit in. And as you can see in the trench, it is um, green base plate. And that is because... Like with this part of this build, if you look at it from this way, you won't be able to see that. And that is where I will be displaying it from. So I did not need to fill that in, but I probably will eventually. And as you can see, there are some rebel troopers in the trench. And I actually don't have a lot of rebel troopers. I don't have any of the ones that are actually out defending it. I just have pilots. So that is why there's a lot of pilots out here. And... Over here, there is a snow trooper getting blown up from one of the turret blasts. And I had a lot of fun with this part because, I don't know, I really like making explosions. So he's on fire and he's kind of being blown up. And there's just some hill detailing around here too. So that is basically the whole second section. Moving on to the third and final section, this is where we have our AT-80 -AT, or Adat Walker. And this is actually a real set, just like the snow speeder set and I will review those later but I added Luke Skywalker here dangling from the belly of the Adat Walker because this set does not actually come with Luke Skywalker or a grappling hook thing so I just used this yellow thing with the rope attached and I think it looks cool I think it's nice to have that in this mock and I also have as you can see back here there's more of the green base plate peeking through and that's just because you won't be able to see that when it's up on top of the shelf, but I will fill that out eventually. And over here, there's just some troopers. There's a cannon thing, and there's this launcher set that came with the Imperial Marauder. I don't know. I just thought it fit in with the build. And there's some cliff over here. And then we have a Imperial General watching out, just like the Rebel General that's watching out over here. And just if you were wondering, the inside of the Echo Base does not have anything in it yet. I did not put anything in there yet because I do not have enough rebel troopers to man all the stations. And you can also see that there is just some ugly door frame pieces in there and a bunch of Technic pieces with the holes. That's because I did not want to run out of white pieces for this mock. And as you can see, that is a common theme here. 
So there you have it guys, that's my LEGO Assault on Hoth mock. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe for more LEGO reviews and mocks.